Okay. Thank you for tuning in to another chapter of Books and Brown Liquor. This is my book review of The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. This is the same author that brought you There's Someone Inside Your House. I liked that one a little bit more. That's just my opinion. This book, okay? Now, the story takes place in North Carolina and they are going on a three-day hike in Pisgah National Forest. Now, when I saw this story took place in North Carolina, I was thinking, is this part of the Appalachian Trail? I guess I should have Googled it. I don't know if this is part of the Appalachian Trail, but when I think of the Appalachian Trail, I think of moonshine and mason jars. And I think of people that talk like, come on back now, you hear? Like, that's what I think of. No shade, I'm just saying. You know, the Appalachian Trail, it got its own spice. Let's put it that way, okay? So that's what I was thinking, like, what, what's happening in these woods? What's going on in the woods? All I'm gonna say is like, when you think of the woods, you think of, mon not monsters, <laughs> you think of animals, you think of wild animals, like the black bear, stuff like that. The things that are in the woods that are dangerous, it's not always the animals. This book has U-turn vibes. So we are two main characters, because it's two girls. They just graduated high school. They're about to go their separate ways because they're going to separate colleges on the opposite sides of the country. So they decide as their last hoorah, they're going to go camping in the damn woods up in the mountains in North Carolina by themselves because they don't need no men for that, right? But this book is giving U-turn vibes. Like I said, the scariest things in the forest ain't always the animals, okay? And they're like not doing well. They're getting lost. They're arguing, they're bickering, they're tired, they're hungry, they're cold. Like shit is just not going right. But let's just say they encounter some circumstances they were not expecting. And they basically end up fighting for their lives all the way to the end. So like I said, think U-turn vibes up in the Appalachian Mountains, okay? Uh, can't give too much away, but yeah, like I said, the most dangerous things in the woods, it's not always the animals. I honestly believe that humans are probably the scariest things out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because animals, they do dumb shit because they're animals. Obviously, if a bear eats meat, it comes across a human. Um, You, you know what I'm saying? Like animals don't do stuff out of spite or out, they was it was just hungry. You, you walk down the wrong trail today. But humans... They're the scariest creatures on the planet, in my opinion. So let's just say they run into the wrong threat, if you will, and they end up fighting for their lives all the way till the very end. For me, this was, a, I think it was a 2.5 or a 3 for me because, I don't know, I just, it was just okay to me. I think a lot of it was kind of predictable when they come across the threat in the woods, it just, it came across kind of predictable. Or I guess I felt like, I feel like I kind of already read this story before. Like I said, movies like U-Turn or The Hills Have Eyes, I feel like I already read this before. So I wasn't really like, it wasn't packed with a lot of surprises. It just, it felt like the same lost in the woods type of story, you know? That's just my opinion. Uh, that's all I got. I don't want to beat it up too much. So I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you good reading. Bye.